Thank you very much for joining us here today for the Sim Racing Authority Pro Series and the Aaron Davis is Awesome 150 here at the Bristol Motor Speedway. Qualifying has just come to an end and the cars are rolling off the grid. Now, as you can see, we have the number four car of Connor Antod leading off the field with Riley Wyans, of course, on the outside behind them. Behind them is, of course, David Fish and Marcus Richardson, along with Tyler Ducharme. Two pace laps around here as we come towards the green flag right here. The pace car should be ducking off here soon enough, and Connor Anton will go ahead and lead the field. Connor Anton was certainly very dominant in the practice race that we had last or two nights ago or so about. Riley Wines is of course on the preferred line for the restart here. Connor Anton is still going to go ahead and elect that inside line. Anton will have to go on green here. We should see the pace car pull off here very shortly. In fact, uh, pace car should be pulling off right now. Connor Anton is going to go ahead and lead the field off. Green flag flies here at Bristol for the Aaron Davis is awesome. 150. Connor Anton spins the tires. Riley Wyans beats him across the line. That could be a black flag. They'll probably clear that. Connor Anton follows in close behind. And in third place filling in is the number 18 car of Marcus Richardson, currently scored in the third position, also followed by right, David Caution Fish. Is Caution, is Caution is out. Let's see if we can head back through the field and see what that might have been because of. They're stopped back here. Let's take a look at the instant replay. Let's see if we can get an idea as to what happened right here. Ah, uh, the number 02 car gets loose on the outside. Collects quite a few cars. Uh, that looks like to be the no that looks to be the number 32 car of Aaron Davis. Gets collected in the Aaron Davis is awesome 150 here at Bristol Motor Speedway. Uh, and that 02 car was the 02 car of Jesse Kaplan getting loose on the outside. Let's see if we can have a word with Aaron Davis. Aaron Davis, Stuart Redman up in the booth. How do you feel about getting wrecked by Jesse Kaplan? Well, I made a buy, and then it just, like, I, I, was, I was good, and then he just went down last second, nothing really I have to do. But, you know, I'm Jesus, so I couldn't call that. Aaron Davis, I'd like to ask, just how awesome are you? On a scale of 1 to 10, 11. Right, well, the dents on your car are telling me otherwise. Thank you very much for talking to me. Thank you very much. All right, as we head back to the pacing, there were certainly no pit stops right there. Riley Lyons is still leading the field. Connor Anton in the second place position. Marcus Richardson following behind in third. Austin Roberts in fourth. I'd like to apologize, by the way, for the ticker up at the top there. It's been uh, it's been acting kind of funky. It's saying that Tyler Ducharme is the leader, and I'm sure we all know that that is not the case. I don't think it quite knows how to count, but uh, we should have that ironed out before tomorrow's race, uh, so first race with IRTVO, and you are going to deal with it. So yeah. Uh, however, the it does seem that the the intervals are at least somewhat. No, no, they're not actually. No, the intervals might be right. I can't quite tell to be honest with you. But there's a ticker up there, and it's got numbers and names on it. So I mean, it looks cool, I guess. Meanwhile, heading back through your field, Riley Wyans is up front. Connor Anton is in the second place. Marcus Richardson in third. 77 car of Austin Roberts is in the fourth position. That is not the fifth place car. No, it is not. Fifth place car is Tyler Ducharme. 
Right there, we got Bobby Cheney in the 24 machine back there in 6th. Cameron Meyer in 7th. Nick Caressel in the number 62 KFC machine back here in the 8th spot. Derek Bordeaux currently scored 9th. Trevor Patelli currently scored in the 10th position, but he's going to come down pit late, probably electing to start at the back right there. Riley Wines is electing the outside line on this restart. But certainly the preferred line as they double up the pace car should be coming off here at the end of this corner. And we can get back to some green flag racing. It's Bristol. We expect there to be some bumping and some banging. Um, certainly had quite the clean practice race, but hey, that's not always how it works. Wines jumps the start right there, which he is allowed to do. Gets quite the healthy lead over Anton. Anton caught sleeping. Looking back through the field. Austin Roberts hung out to dry on the outside right there. Bobby Cheney looking to the inside. Tyler Ducharme is there if Cheney cannot make that outside line work. Ducharme checks up there. Doesn't want to get in the back of Cheney. Meanwhile, Connor Anton is beginning to catch that number. Or, yeah, the number four car of Connor Anton is starting to catch the 07 of Riley Lyons. Riley, Fy Riley Lyons is very fast out there tonight. His internet is actually not doing too terrible. Uh, I may not have to use pretty much the best segment in broadcast racing ever. Which we all know of as the... Oh, wait. Where is the Riley Lyons ping update presented by Fastnet Wireless? Take a look at the Riley Wyans ping update. Riley Wyans ping is currently at 100. That is a new record low for Riley Wyans. Having the race of his life and the internet connection of his life here at Bristol. Meanwhile, though, Connor Anton is right there on the back bumper. Marcus Richardson is beginning to close as well. Those top three have pulled a gap on the rest of the field. Riley Wyans was not doing that great in the practice race. That could have been partly due to his internet. But uh, he's certainly doing quite the fine job out there tonight in the Texas Instruments Ford Mustang. Caution is out. Let's see if we can figure out what that might have been because of. Uh, let's head back. 60 seconds. Oh. Someone just hit something. Let's focus on someone back here in the field. Uh, we'll take a look at the number 17 car of Jesse Kaplan. No, not Kaplan. David Shutt. David Shutt likes to cause Rex. He's not on the track anymore. Let's take a look and see if we can figure out what might have happened to that number 12 car of David Shutt. Or see what happened around the 12 car of David Shutt. We'll be headed way back there and at this point. Oh, Jesse Kaplan involved in another accident. Let's see if we get uh, Jesse Kaplan currently off the racetrack. Let's get back up here, see if we can figure out what that might have been. Bring up the UI. Let's see what we get here with the number 02 car of Jesse Kaplan. Let's see what might happen. Jesse Kaplan takes a three wide, gets into the number 11 car of Sergio Oliveira and uh, Rex. That's about how it goes right there. All right. Running order seems to be just about what it was before. Nothing special has changed majorly. We still have Riley Wines up front, followed by Connor Anton, Marcus Richardson in the third position. Austin Roberts scored in the fourth spot. Bobby Cheney bringing up your top five. Cameron Meyer currently scored in the sixth position. David Shutt in seventh. Tyler Ducharme currently scored eighth. Derek Bordeaux in the ninth spot. Nick Caressel scored tenth. 
David Fish in the 11th position, Ryan Flood 12th, Brian Wortman in the number 89 racing for Jesus Chevrolet Impala, currently scored in the 13th position, Trevor Petrelli currently scored in the 14th spot, Chance Crum in 15th, Sergio Oliveira who has damage from the previous incident is 16th, and Aaron Davis, last car on the lead lap in the Aaron Davis is awesome. 150 here at Bristol Motor Speedway. Certainly not the night Aaron Davis was looking for. Working lap 12 out of 150 here. Or <laughs> lap 17. I can count, I swear. Lap 17 out of 150 here at Bristol Motor Speedway. Riley Wyans is currently dominating tonight. Uh, certainly a little bit different from what we saw with Connor Anton dominating most of the practice race, lapping almost everyone on the track except for the number 18 car right there of Marcus Richardson. Of course, this is a lot different from the practice race. We went uh, the full 75 laps, I believe, is what the practice race was. Caution-free. Two cautions already within 18 laps. Obviously, we have a much bigger field. The lights are off on the iRacing pace car. We should be going green here shortly. Riley Wyans again electing to choose that outside line. He can't jump the start here. Connor Anton tries to jump it. Did not work. Wyans pulls away. Connor Anton is going to get freight trained here as Marcus Richardson takes a look to the inside right there. Connor Anton just trying to keep a little bit of a gap right there on Marcus Richardson as Riley Wyans bridges that gap even more. Taking a look back through the field, seeing if we can find any side-by-side -side action right here. Aside from this little brawl right here, Bobby Chaney down there on the bottom. Bobby Chaney trying to hold on as Cameron Meyer is working that high line. David Shutt squeezing him down there as low as he can right there. Bobby Chaney is hung out to try on that bottom line. He might be able to get up right here, actually. Pulls up right in front of David Shutt. Shutt's not going to be happy about that as he rides Chaney's bumper into turn one. Not going to work well for Shutt, though, as Derek Bordeaux gets to the outside. David Fish is going to look to the inside of David Shutt. Certainly quite the battle down here around where the... Uh, the number 69 car of Tyler Ducharme is. The number 43 car of David Fish. 29 of Derek Bordeaux. Three wide. They wreck going down the back stretch. Derek Bordeaux is in the wall hard as he goes three wide right there. He is wall ride. Derek Bordeaux certainly not having the race he was looking for here tonight. Pulls down right in front of Nick Caressel. Caressel has nowhere to go. All right, there are some brains on the dashboard right there. Derek Bordeaux. Coast it down to the infield. Certainly not the night Bordeaux was looking for. Let's go ahead to the instant replay right here. 30 seconds back. Let's head on board with Nicholas Caressel right here in the cockpit. We should be... Oh, that's not Nicholas Caressel. That is actually Riley Wyans. The more you know. Caressel, 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 Caressel. Where are you, Nick Caressel? There he is. Oh, okay, we missed it. There we go. I got it. I got it. So we had on board with Nick Caressel. Coming up on the back bumper of Derek Bordeaux, riding the wall. Bordeaux comes off the wall. Caressel left with nowhere to go. And Caressel is now in the pits. Well, quite an eventful first few laps here at Bristol. Bristol Madness. It's a thing. In real life, there's always massive wrecks at Bristol. Lots of cautions. It's no different here. No different here at all. Taking a look. See if we have any takers for pit lane. That's a no. Derek Bordeaux, Stuart Redmond up in the booth, you got a copy. Oh, he's gone. Alright, Nicholas Caressel, Stuart Redmond up in the booth, you got a copy. Sure, why not? Why did you run in the back of Derek? That, w that wasn't very smart of you, Nick, I'm going to be honest. 
Uh, you kind of pulled it off the wall right in front of me. I had nowhere to go. I was planning on passing him a little bit when we got into the corner, and then he just yanked it off the wall. I didn't see any of that. I think I just saw you drive right in the back from that is what our stats people are telling us. Uh, obviously, Marty Reed is up here in the booth with me. He, he's definitely blaming you. What are we seeing? <laughs> Thank you very much for talking to me. No, it was not your fault. Okay. Yeah. Not quite Carousel's fault, but, uh... We like messing with people up here at Sim Racing Authority. It's fun. Oh, of course, we're looking for new league members who might not suck. Feel free to sign up. SimRacingAuthority.com. Be sure to check the description of the video for the link. This ticker is driving me mad. Wait, is it working now? The top five are correct. Nope. Nope. David Fish is number one, and that may be true, but he's actually not number one in the race. So, uh, yeah. As we take a look right here at Riley Lyons, one of the rules here is the initial start, you have to go on green, but for all restarts, you can go whenever the hell you want. No problems, no questions asked. You can go anytime the pace car pulls off, and uh, of course between then and the green flag, we'll be seeing how Riley Lyons jumps the start this time. Alright, Riley Wines is going to wait and wait, and Green there he goes. Green Riley Wines jumping the start again, getting quite the jump on Connor Anton. Bobby Cheney is moving up into the top five here on the outside of Marcus Richardson. Trying to make it stick. No, he's going to let Marcus Richardson pull in there. Bobby Cheney currently in fourth. Richardson is in the wall behind Anton right there. Connor Anton is also in the wall. Certainly not. Certainly he is pushing, but he's got some competition here tonight from the number 07 machine of Riley Wines. Marcus Richardson up into the wall again. Riley Wines in the wall. All the leaders are pushing as hard as they can, which means hitting the wall a little bit. Head back through the field here, of course. Marcus Richardson scored in the third position. Bob Cheney in fourth. David Fish. In the fifth spot, sixth place, just changing hands between Austin Roberts and Cameron Meyer. Certainly quite the battle there. As Roberts clears Cameron Meyer and gets back to that outside line. Meanwhile, this number seven car, Trevor Pertelli. Per yeah, that's your name. Trevor Pertelli <laughs> is working the inside line right there, trying to make the moves. Can't quite make it happen as the 83 and Chance Crum is coming from the back and getting into the mix right here. Just about getting the back bumper there of Cameron Meyer. Certainly quite the lot of cars right here. David Fish is also in. Is that? Might not actually be David Fish. No, that's 98 car of Ryan Flood actually working that outside line. Just behind him is Tyler Ducharme with the number 69 machine. Trying to stay on that outside and freight train as many people as they can with the water cars back here for sure. Meanwhile, Riley Wines is continuing to extend his lead. Marcus Richardson inheriting the second position over Connor Anton. He is currently scored in the third spot. Marcus Richardson catching the 07 car of Riley Wines. This is one of the longest green flag runs we've had here in a while. Richardson trying to make that inside line work. Just about clears Wyatt's. Richardson is able to clear Riley Wyatt's right there. On the inside here at Bristol. That is quite a strong showing from Richardson. Uh, of course, Wyatt's is still hanging tough right there in the second spot. Right on the back bumper of Richardson. Meanwhile, Connor Anton certainly not showing the pace that he was in the practice race. As he tries to get to the inside right there. Oh, Riley Lyons trying to make it stick. Lyons pinches him off the corner right there. Cannot make it happen. Bobby Cheney is going to try to get to the outside of Anton. Can't quite make it stick. David Fish is also cracked into the top five right there as well. Just a great big lot of cars. Riley Lyons with a little bit of gap over those, uh, those four, four uh, five cars actually. Bobby Cheney in the wall, almost murdering David Fish in the face. Bobby Cheney has actually only caused two wrecks in his entire iRacing career. That is a confirmed fact. That number almost rose to three. Meanwhile, 
Marcus Richardson continuing to pull away from Riley Wyans. You can almost see some lap traffic there coming into the view of Marcus Richardson. Certainly the most exciting battle is Connor Anton, David Fish, Austin Roberts, Chance, or yeah, Chance Crump right there, and Bobby Cheney. That battle has certainly uh, it's, uh, simmered down just a little bit. We also have another little pack of cars here being led by Tyler Ducharme, Cameron Meyer, Ryan Flood, Trevor Fratelli, uh, David Shutt, Nick Caressel is back there. He's going to go a lap down here shortly. Aaron Davis is going to be going a lap down shortly as well. Sergio Oliveira is going to go a lap down, and Brian Wortman is still in the pits. Certainly not tonight. Brian Wortman wanted. Aaron Davis getting passed again in the Aaron Davis is awesome 150. It's even it's even more so not the night that Aaron Davis wanted. As we see Marcus Richardson approaching some lap traffic right here. This is a very important part of Bristol to see who can work through the lap traffic quickest. Aaron Davis let Marcus Richardson go, letting all the leaders go do the right thing. Uh, Marcus Richardson does have a little bit more traffic to work through until he's going to get to that second group, however, the number he left with. I do believe of Sergio Oliveira. Oliveira, I bet. Pardon me. Marcus Richardson holding that high line. The 11 is probably going to let him go in the bottom here. Yep. Very good. Very good shot right there. That's what we like to see. And uh, Riley Lyons is probably sitting there saying, damn. Probably wanted uh, one of those lapped cars to wreck him, slow him up somehow. Did not quite happen. Connor Anton. What happened to Anton? Connor Anton is way back here right now. Let's see if we can uh, head back and see what might have done that. I'm curious. I want to see what happened to Anton. Oh, he didn't actually. Uh, doesn't look like there was a particular incident. He just sucks. Is Garbsy your buddy or? Now David Fish is going to inherit that third spot from Connor Anton. Austin Roberts running fourth, Chance Crum at fifth, and Anton back here in the sixth position. About to be seventh, though. Bobby Cheney is going to make it by on the outside here, more than likely. Bobby Cheney is going to take over the sixth spot, moving Anton back to the seventh position. Tyler Ducharme running eighth. Number 98 machine of Ryan Flood back here in the ninth spot. Trevor Patelli back here in the 10th spot. Cameron Meyer in 11th. David Schutt running 12th. Finished third in the practice race. Certainly not the run for David. But certainly not the run that David Schutt wanted either. Nicholas Caressel back in the 13th spot as well. Aaron Davis back in the pits. Safe to say Aaron Davis might be done. As we see Brian Wordman pulling out of the pits. Good to see Brian Wordman back. It's been a while since we've seen... Uh, I personally have seen Brian Wortman around uh, in sim racing, so it's good to have him back. He's certainly a very important part of, uh, of our operations here at Sim Racing Authority. We enjoy having him around. I'm not saying he's an admin or anything, he's just cool. Capiche, capiche, fine. Meanwhile, Riley Wyatt's getting passed by a dominant David Fish. David Fish more than likely running that tire saving line, and it is working for him yet again. David Fish is currently running in the second spot. Let's see if he is catching Marcus Richardson at all here. Um, way to lap. Seems to me that Marcus Richardson is pulling away from David Fish. Or the lead. He's not pulling away quick, though. He's not pulling away quick. In fact, he might not be pulling away. David Fish could very well be catching. Marcus Richardson right here. Certainly very equal at this point in time. David Fish currently second. Riley Wyans is pulling. Or Riley Wyans is falling back. He was leading earlier in this run. Possibly going to get passed for third place here by Chance Crum here in the near future. Chance Crum driving in there deep. Wyans trying to cut him off on the exit. Crum gets by though. That could have been ugly. Wyans trying to stay right there on the already dented back bumper of Chance Crum. It's not 
quite going to happen. Austin Roberts is already four seconds back from Lions. Lions should still be okay up here in this top four for now. Meanwhile, taking a look at this battle back here, Austin Roberts on the outside. Longtime teammate Bobby Cheney making it work on the inside. Connor Anton also getting by Austin Roberts on the inside. Connor Anton was looking to dominate tonight's race. I was talking to Anton before the race, actually. Anton was looking to dominate this race, much like he dominated the practice race, but that is certainly not the case tonight. Connor Anton certainly not as fast as he once was here. And when I say when he once was, I mean like a couple days ago. Maybe everyone else just got better. As we take a look back here at the eighth spot and the, the little group behind the, the three-car group of Cheney, Anton, and Roberts, we have Tyler Ducharme leading that group right now. Directly behind him is Ryan Flood. We got Trevor Patelli back here as well, David Shutt, Cameron Meyer, and uh, that, I believe the 11 car, Sergio Oliveira. He is currently scored two laps down, not on the lead lap. Doing a nice job keeping pace with these guys. Also, Brian Wortman currently scored 28 laps down. Getting back out there, running some laps, having a good points day. For the number 89 racing with Jesus, Chevrolet, and Paula. Not Camaro, Paula, Cameron Meyer in the wall. Almost gets into that number 11 car. I think they did touch a little bit there, but no wreck. Certainly quite the long green flag run here for Bristol. Working lap 66 of 150. Marcus Richardson's lead is actually shrinking. Let's begin a look here. Marcus Richardson's lead has shrunk by seconds, actually. David Fish is catching that number 18 of Marcus Richardson. Taking a look at David Fish's gap on Cam or Chance Crum. David Fish does seem to be pulling away from Chance Crum. Chance Crum pulling away from Riley Lyons. Meanwhile, we got Bobby Cheney back here pulling away from Connor Anton. And Connor Anton pulling away from Austin Roberts. Right now, this is where the battle is going to be shortly. Let's go on board with the number 43 car of David Fish. David Fish hitting the wall right when we go on board with him. Because that's how it works, let's be honest here. This is going to be a great opportunity for David Fish to possibly catch up to that number 18 car of Marcus Richardson as they work through some lap traffic. Brian Workman right there on the inside as they get by him. In fact, I think it might be a little bit more exciting to go on board with the 18 car right here of Marcus Richardson working through some lap traffic. Getting by the number 62 car of Nicholas Caressel right there. Yeah, here's that big pack of lapped cars. Cameron Meyer right there, along with David Shutt. Trevor Pertelli going to go a lap down here shortly. There, I see Aaron Davis up there in the mix, racing around Shutt. Whenever Aaron Davis and Shutt are anywhere near each other, you know there's going to be a massive junk. Oh, right, they Austin wreck right out. in Austin front of the leader as I so he is dead. Tyler Ducharme confirmed dead. We need the hearse in turn two. Let's see if we can go. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Let's see if we can go on board with Tyler Ducharme for this whole thing. Actually, let's watch from the outside here first. Oopsies. 69, Tyler Ducharme. Here we see Tyler Ducharme. Tyler Ducharme comes down the 68 and himself make contact. Ducharme comes back down the track. It's the 68 car. David Shutt piles in there. The 11 car piles in there. And that is where we unfortunately lost Tyler Ducharme. <laughs> Everyone else seems to get through that without incident. Certainly a tough, the tough break though for David Shutt. Having a decent run back there. He's going to have some front end damage. I'm not saying it's a tough break for Tyler Ducharme, who is dead. No. <laughs> he's, he's still sitting there. Yep. No. Get off the track, Ducharme. Report. Tyler Ducharme, Stuart Redman up in the booth. Uh, you seem to be... How how you hanging there, Tyler? How you hanging? Uh, typical for wrecking people. Um, I don't know what else to say. Yeah, well, to me, it kind of looked like it might have been Aaron Davis's fault right there, but uh, I reserve all judgment. Um, 
But, uh, yeah, that, you know, tough break for you there, Tyler Ducharme. Thank you very much for talking with me. Aaron Davis, you got any rebuttal for that one? Sounds like a maybe. All right, no. All right, we'll be seeing you. <laughs> oh, it's so satisfying. It is so incredibly satisfying. Taking a look at green flag pit stops. Marcus Richardson is first on pit road by a mile. Maybe not. David Fish took two. I think we might be seeing David Fish right here. No, wait, no. Marcus Richardson beating David Fish <laughs> off a of pit lane. Chance Crumb following in. Check it out third spot. Didn't meet my driver chat. Brilliant. Riley Wyans coming off pit lane in the fourth spot. Certainly that could be some strategy. You'd want to be on that outside line coming off of pit lane. Bobby Chaney currently scored in the fifth spot. Trevor Pertelli currently scored sixth. Anson losing some spots on pit lane. Just rounding off that poor night for Connor Anson. He's currently scored in the uh, sixth through seventh spot. Waiting for scoring to update right here. Connor Anson actually scored in the sixth position. <laughs> Brian Wordman and Aaron Davis are back there behind the pace car awaiting their wave buys. David Shutt, he's gone. He left. And hey, look at that. We are reaching See our halfway point in it's today's great. race. I'm going to get the right yeah, one here eventually, up, which means yeah, it's time for the Riley Lions. No. Ping update. Riley, <laughs> I love that graphic. <laughs> Riley Lions ping is 133. Let's hope that doesn't change. Uh, certainly a good night for Riley Lions. Riley Lions, as I've said, is one of the better drivers around here. Oh no, we need that. Nope. <laughs> Riley Wyans is one of the better drivers around here. He just unfortunately gets plagued by his terrible, terrible internet connection. Certainly a bit of a surprise to see, you know, it's not really a surprise to see David Fish up front. Green flag, green flag. Green flag's out. I forgot to uh, get out a replay mode in there. Marcus Richards getting the jump on the restart. I think the practice broadcast actually went better than the actual one. But anyway, Riley Wyans is certainly getting hung out to try on that outside line as they're three wide. Connor Anton with one heck of a restart to be up there. David Fish cuts off Anton going into the corner. Anton gets up into the number 83 car of Chance Crum right there, I do believe. As Wines gets to the outside of the 43 car of David Fish, trying to make it work, can't quite do it. Fish is making that middle line work for him. Wines can get to the outside on entry, but he cannot get by. As we see Connor Hanson currently scored in the fourth spot. Let's see if we can find any damage actually on Connor Hanson. Yeah, there's certainly a little bit of damage right there on the number four car of Connor Anton, but I'm sure that he will certainly step up his run and never, ever give up. Inside jokes do not work that well. All right. Behind him is Bobby Cheney in the fifth spot, sixth and seventh place. Look at that battle back there. They are all wadded up. 77 car of Austin Roberts currently assuming the sixth spot as they wreck behind him. It looked like the 21 of Cameron right, Meyer was involved. Aaron Davis piles it in there. Brian Wortman is involved, and the number 98 of Ryan Flood is involved. Let's head back about uh, let's head back a little bit here and take a look at the instant replay. You see right here. Here comes the 21 car or the. Looks like Flood might have been an innocent bystander here. Seven car of Trevor Pertelli gets loose to 21, gets collected, comes right down across the nose of the 98. Brian Wortman slides in because he's on the brakes, trying to check up for the accident in front of him.
Set back live right here. Marcus Richardson is still in the lead. David Fish is going to be restarting in the second position. Riley Wines in third. Connor Anson is going to be on the preferred line right there, the outside line for the next restart. Back through the field, Bobby Chaney currently scored fifth. Bobby Chaney is going to bring that number 24 Intel machine down the pit lane, though. Running for points. Running for points. Austin Roberts is going to keep it out on the track. Nick Caressel currently scored an eighth, but he's going to bring it down the pit lane, see if he can get some more of his damage fixed. Trevor Patelli staying out on track. Chance Crum. Uh, looks like he might be bringing it down pit lane as well. <laughs> trying to figure out which pit road is correct and or trying to hit the pit wall again, which we might know of as Chance Crumming it. I don't think we're going to try to have another talk with Aaron Davis. Uh, I might, we, should we take a look at Aaron Davis's arc of breaking abilities, though? I feel like we should. I feel like we should take a nice look at the arc of breaking abilities of Aaron Davis. 32. 32. Aaron Davis. There we go. All right. Let's head back here a little bit. Aaron Davis ran on track. Let's go on board with Davis right here. Davis gets back in the gas <laughs> during the incident. <laughs> the Aaron Davis is awesome at arca breaking. 150. Oh, we have a call. I wonder who that is. That's Aaron Davis. He's going to be joining me up here in the booth. We were just taking a look at your amazing arca breaking abilities there Aaron Davis fine job uh, yeah well I was, I was uh -huh. slowing down and he just he's Yo, you were slowing me. down and then you got back in the gas and then actually yes I thought he was spinning down yes but it's was still it, not my fault was it worth it taking yourself out of the Aaron Davis is awesome 150 You're I didn't do that by the way <laughs> just letting you know <laughs> Well, I mean, it was, I couldn't do anything about it. He was spinning up. I was either stopping an arca break by somebody behind me, probably. Or I was just trying to coast through it. Green flag, green flag. And the green flag is back out here at Bristol. Changing around the sound just a little bit. Taking a look back at that lead pack. Marcus Richardson with the jump on the restart. David Fish inheriting the second spot. Yeah, Richardson, he just got a huge jump on the restart there and just pulled from the field. Connor Anton, he's got a lot of damage on the front of his car there. He's been out there beating and banging, probably getting a little frustrated, as we know he does. We talk with Connor Anton a lot off of the track. Connor Anton, he gets frustrated when people cut him off, doesn't he? You can see Anton getting he's, in Go sorry, ahead. He's racing David Fish right now with a rather line by Right. All sort of single filed out, but Fish taking that middle line. I don't know if that's working for him or not. Yeah, I've been noticing. It seems like it is. That middle line has been working for Fish as he hits the wall. <laughs> Riley Wyatt is right on the back bumper there of Connor Anton. Bobby Cheney just sitting behind him, probably laughing his ass off. Look at the, the looking at this. There with Connor and Riley right there, they almost made contact. Yeah, that, that they do that a lot actually. Yeah, I think Riley just he just blinks in front of Connor. And, yeah. You know how Riley's ping is. Oh, yeah. And it's time for the Riley Wyans ping update presented by Fastnet Wireless. The ping is still at 116. We're not actually sponsored by Fastnet Wireless. It's just funny because they suck. Well, the see, the thing is, right now, I have the highest ping at uh, 375. That's nice. Riley Wyans. Yes, in the wireless. This battle, this brawl just keeps on heating up. Connor Anton right on the back bumper of David Fish. Riley Lyons right on the back bumper of Connor Anton. Marcus Fish Richardson is off the good. pace, I think. Let's see if we can possibly see what might have happened oh, there. Oh, David Fish, Fish goes oh, around. David Fish is well, upside up down. down. All right, man, it out. Oh, well, let's see if everybody can maneuver it. There they go. David Fish. His window net is not a sign that he is okay. I'm really happy that you cut out when you said that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's go on board with oh nope that's not on board let's go on board with David Fish for this incident
That's not David Fish, that's Ryan Flood. And I just barely missed it. Alright, all right, 10 seconds back. Let's go on board with David Fish for this incident. David Fish gets hit in the right side, into the inside while he goes. He Clint Boyers it, slides on his roof down the front straightaway here at Bristol. Doesn't get hit by anyone else. This race is in memory of the number 43 car of David Fish, who lost his life in this accident today. It's it's truly sad, you know. <laughs> he was out here. It, it's just, it's just wrong. It's just flat out wrong. <laughs> That's just wrong. <laughs> and Bobby Cheney now in second position. Bobby, obviously the president of the league. Uh, Austin Roberts is definitely not the president of the yeah, league. Yeah, we would like to make sure that you are aware that Bobby Cheney is the president of this league, and he, he, he owns it. everything. He he basically runs everything. He's basically a dictator in this league. We can't have any fun with him. No, we it's just exactly. We'll, we'll see if we can get a word yeah. with Bobby here later tonight. Warming his tires up. That is not legal. Oh, I'm sorry. Wrongly. <laughs> No comment. I am still affiliated with that league, and I would like to make no further comment. Mm. Uh, let's look further back here in the field at uh, Brian Wortman in the racing for Jesus number 89. 29 laps down. He, he has been through a lot. He is involved in a lot of wrecks. I've been racing with him a lot because he just got caught up in an initial wreck like I did, and it's just been a struggle. Has it? Yes, it has. <laughs> this was going well until you got here. <laughs> All right. Well, let's maintain profession professionality, whatever that means. <laughs> Lap 100 of 150 here. What have we had, like four or five cautions? Something like uh, that. A lot. Yeah, <laughs> we've had a lot of cautions. Yeah, you quite have, a bit. You've been involved in at least three of them. Two? Uh, three? Two, actually. Yes, two. Which is pretty sad, to say the least. Yes, uh, this is the Aaron Davis' awesome 150, and it looks like you are going to be finishing uh, pretty poorly. Currently scored in the 16th spot, 31 laps down. Brian Wordman only 29 laps cool. down. Hmm. Riley Wyans, if he can stay up here in the front, and, and if he doesn't blink over the fence again, I think he has to in a good position to have a great finish because we all know nobody's going to win the race except Marcus. That is a uh, fact. Uh, where is Marcus, actually? Uh, Marcus Richardson currently scored all the way back in the sixth spot. Something way back there. Yeah, not quite sure why that might be. Marcus Richardson is currently scored in the sixth spot. I think he may have taken the pit road. He might have taken the pit road? Yes, he might I have taken the pit give it road. back. <laughs> 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 okay. Riley Wines is going to go ahead and take the outside as the pace car is about to duck off. Riley Wines goes right on the pace car. Bobby Cheney caught sleeping. Connor Anton just barely trying to get to that outside of Bobby Cheney. Now he's going to duck down to the inside. Connor Anton driving it in deep. Clears Bobby Cheney. We're going to see Connor Anton. Back up to fourth there looking at Connor Anton up to the second spot, as you said, Marcus Richardson up to the fourth spot, right on the back bamper of Bobby Cheney. Trevor Pertelli, haven't seen him up front too much today. He's currently scored in the fifth spot. Possibly gonna be making a move here on Bobby Cheney shortly. Behind him is the number 83 machine of Chance Crum. Followed by the Sim Rate or no, actually currently followed by the number 62 KFC machine of Nick Caressel. Austin Roberts back here in the Sim Racing Authority machine as well. And Ryan hey, hey, what? Excuse me. Yeah, you better shut up. Oh yeah, well it was Caressel. He's he's had a tough race here tonight. It's good yeah. to see him back on the lead lap. He's been two laps down, four laps down, dead a couple times. I mean, yeah. it's, it's terrible. It's I mean, it was all entirely his fault. Oh, yeah, yeah it's, it's completely his fault. <laughs> but, I mean, I still like the sponsor of his car very much. I mean, oh, we have a new leader on the field, actually. Connor Anton has inherited the lead. It's good to see. I know Connor had high hopes going into this race, as I've said many times. I'm sorry. I'm friends with Connor. And, I kind of have and to. And I do believe. 
that he is eating some craft dinner right now. I would like to believe that Connor Anton is indeed eating craft dinner. That would not surprise me in the slightest. The Canadian powerhouse, the number four EcoBoost <laughs> Ford, piloted by Connor Anton, but he's going to have some competition here shortly as Marcus Richardson makes the pass on Riley Lyons for the second position. Very good night for Riley Wines. You know, the Pings have not tried to kill him yet. He's running up here in the top five. Riley Wines is a very fast driver when his internet allows him to be. Not too much time left in the race, though. 41 laps. It would certainly not at all be unexpected if this lap or if this race went green the rest of the way. I'm not sure if Anton has enough of a lead on Richardson to stick up here. But uh certainly, certainly the race we like to see. From Connor Anton. We know Anton is fast. He pulled away quite a bit in the practice race. He beat Marcus Richardson by three seconds. But uh, it looks to me like Richardson might be catching the number four machine of Connor Anton. He really wants that craft dinner. I'm sorry if I cut out there. Yeah, you cut you cut out a little bit, but you know what? That's not what matters. Yeah. That is not what matters. The only thing that matters is Garbsey. Yes. <laughs> Because everyone knows what that means. <laughs> yes, they do, actually. It's an inside joke with Connor and ourselves. So, so currently, now they know. Now we only have, uh, it looks like, nine cars on the lead lap, actually. Nine cars currently scored on the lead lap. The last of which is the number 77 machine of Austin Roberts. Austin Roberts was running up at the front there earlier. Not quite sure what's going on, but Roberts, he's uh, he's certainly losing time to Ryan Flood and Nicholas Caressel, who are currently running in 7th and 8th, respectively, as Flood tried to make a move on Caressel right here on the inside line. As Tyler Ducharme would say, Ryan Flood causing wrecks all the time. All the time. He is currently 20 laps down. And he's getting fast by the leader's going to go 23 laps down. That really, really sucks. That, you know what, 23 laps down, that is a great night for Tyler Ducharme. You know what, I think he only flipped his car. Oh, excuse me, sorry. I think he only flipped his car about uh, 75 times tonight. And you know what, that's a, new, that's a new low, actually. So it's a good race for Tyler Ducharme. We're seeing a lot of improvement from him. And uh, certainly really do enjoy having him around. Not really, but uh, at least he doesn't have 91 incidents. <laughs> All right, let's I'm quit. Let's quit railing on to Charm. 32 laps to go. The race for the lead is heating up. Richardson right on the back bumper of Anton. Richardson with a 1.8 second gap over Riley Williams at this point in the race. Top two aren't certainly dominating. Richardson did not have anything for Anton a couple of days ago. But either Anton, Anton might not be focused on the race. He might be too focused on his craft dinner. Either that I or Marcus. I think the Marcus craft may be weighing his car down. The craft dinner okay. is weighing down the car of Connor Anton. Marcus Richardson is going to capitalize on that. As he's taking a look to the inside, not quite sure if that's going to work out for him. He makes it stick, actually. He's on his door right now, but the high line is going to prevail here coming off the corner. Oh, yeah, the high line is going to prevail. Connor Anton is going to drive as hard as he can for this victory. Richardson and Anton get along really well. I don't think and we're going to see anything just, too dirty. Richardson just drove it in off a of four. He got a huge run and just flat out cleared him. Marcus Richardson confirmed to have grip hacks right there, easily getting past the number four car of Connor Anton. Would not be surprised if we see the 18 machine pull away from this point on. I think that pass may have been a fluke because Connor was probably taking a bite of his Kraft Dinner. <laughs> I just think so. We need, to have get, a we need to get him a car sponsored by Kraft Dinner. Yes, we do. We're going to have to make that happen. All right, heading back through the field in third place is the 07 car of Riley Lyons. Fourth place is Bobby Chaney. Chance Crum in fifth. Trevor Pertelli in the sixth spot. Nicholas Caressel running 7th. I'm pretty sure Caressel's pretty happy to be in 7th right now, all things oh. considered. Oh, yeah. I would have quit if I was him. <laughs> After the stuff that he's been through, I would have just gone. You quit You quit out of a race that is named after you. That's well, how much see, of a quitter you was, are. I had too much damage and I could not continue. Oh. Okay, but, never fear, it was all Cameron Myers' fault, and that is fact. 
Just, just, I mean, it's all came in Myers' fault. Got you. Right. He you definitely did. a lot of practice, so I mean, he, just, he just had to finish. You definitely did not accelerate after there was a wreck in front of you. Definitely not. I didn't. <laughs> Austin Roberts is off the pace. Oh, no, he's letting the leaders go. Good job, Austin oh, Roberts. No. Going a lap down, actually, but uh, he's letting the leaders go in his Sim Racing Authority Ford he is, Mustang. He's a very good supporter of the league. Obviously not the president. He's not the not president. To get him not to get him confused with Bob Cheney, the actual president of Sim Racing Authority. Uh, Tyler Ducharme appears to have just come out of the pits, and he is very slow on the apron. Not too sure what Tyler Ducharme is doing right now, but uh, we can go ahead and probably assume that it's incredibly stupid and unnecessary. Tyler Ducharme hitting yes, the cone. Yes, sir, it is. He takes out that cone. The orange cone will not be happy with that. What is he doing? I don't know. He's just he's just driving around. But let's go up to the number 89 car, the Racing for Jesus, number 89 Chevrolet, Brian Dude, Wortman. That's not he's a, had a, he's had a tough race still. It's 30 laps now, but he's still pulling through, and he's going to finish the race unlike I could. Ducharme is pulling a rudiment. He's just going to drive around until... Oh, no, there he goes, pulling his number 69. <laughs> Chevrolet Impala down the pit lane. Looks like he's coasting. Maybe Jeff Gordon paint scheme, and I really enjoy that paint scheme at the driver behind it. No, oh, no, he's just he's pulling it through pit lane for no apparent reason. Oh, I he's... think we may have a little bit of the of uh, never mind. But well, Chance you know Crum has gotten by Bobby Cheney in the fourth. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we just wasted about ten laps watching Tyler Ducharme coast his car around the track. I'm sure I don't care, but Bobby Cheney's now in the fifth position, passed by Chance Crum. Chance Grum has zero practice here, and he's just, Chance Grum is just a natural at everything he does about racing. Especially Chance, hitting the pit wall. And Chance, <laughs> that too. Chance Grum is, is life, basically. Chance he's, Grum. He's is love, he's life. Yes, I would agree. As we can see here, six cars currently scored on the lead lap. Trevor Fratelli, ten seconds back from the leader, Marcus Richardson. Seven seconds back is Bobby Chaney, getting my longtime teammate, and not co-founder of this league, Austin Roberts. Chance Scrum in the fourth spot. Riley Wyans having a great night in the third position. Connor Anton in second. Two seconds back from Marcus Richardson. Oh, how the tables have turned. A couple days ago, it was Richardson three seconds back from Anton, and it looks like Anton's going to be finishing about three seconds back behind Richardson. All of the Kraft dinner is just strange. We can go ahead and blame this entire situation on Kraft dinner. Yes. Oh, uh, I'm going to take a look back here. Ryan Flood, he, uh, he wrecked Desharm on purpose earlier in the race, obviously. Confirmed. And he's still, he's, he's lapped down. He's been fighting hard. And he's just letting the leaders go. He's racing right now with Nicholas Gressel for that lucky dog position if we would get another caution. But he doesn't seem to be doing it. Why the number 89 racing for Jesus Chevrolet is lurking behind him. Oh, how intimidating. That number 89 racing for Jesus Chevrolet can be. Brian Wartman just waiting in the shadows in case something goes wrong to uh, possibly pick up some well actually doesn't look like Brian Wortman can pick up any more positions here tonight 30 laps down with 11 laps remaining not too much Wortman can do tonight but he's going to go out there and run some laps and possibly pick up some points oh and Ryan Flood still racing with Nicholas Caressa this is a great race but he can't do it uh, this is probably the best racing on the track right now, aside from the uh, Bobby Cheney and Chance Crum. Everyone is pretty well spaced out. Connor Anton has about a two-second gap on Riley Wyans. Wyans with a three-second gap on Crum. Crum with a, a one-second gap on Cheney. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor Patelli with a four-second gap. Uh, uh, four seconds behind Bobby Cheney probably the best race on the track as Crum is getting held up by the battle between Caressel and Ryan Flood. But they both let him go. They both let him go doing the right thing as we do here at Sim Racing Authority. Again, if you'd like to join us, link is in the description, simracingauthority.com. We'd love to have you. Yes, and next week we're going to have Indianapolis for the Pro Series, so tune in for that. And what is that race going to be called? That is going to be called the Lauren Cohen 50 at... I don't know if that's... That's just how many laps we're running because we don't want to calculate the race length. I'm pretty sure you have a problem. I'm sure I don't, but... Let's go back up to the leader, Marcus Richardson, with now, I think, it's six laps to go. 
Yeah, six laps to go. Marcus Richardson just dominating this race. It's as if nothing could possibly go wrong as he works his way through some lap traffic with a four and a half second lead over Connor Anton. He is pulling away and he is doing it quick. The battle between Wyans and Anton is heating up. Riley Wyans is pushing really hard for that second position right there on the back bumper of Anton. He's going to try everything, even driving it Ooh. into the wall. Riley Wines drives it into the wall, but you know what? That worked for him. He gained quite a bit on Anton right and there. He hit Connor Anton. That is dangerous to that craft dinner. It'll crush down that, in a second. That will, that will, yeah, yeah, yes. You don't want to mess with the Canadian's craft dinner. As Riley Wines goes on the inside right now, still cannot get it done. He's going to have to try something really hard now. Three to go. Three laps to go. We're not going to look at Marcus Richardson because he is pretty much going to be the winner of this race. Riley Wyans is going to try to pull out all the stops for a second place finish. Getting on the bumper of Connor Anton all the way through that corner. Pushing him. I'm surprised he did not go through him because Riley Wyans is not usually solid in races. <laughs> Riley Wyans in the wall a little bit right there. Connor that may Anton. Be detrimental. He drives it in into the wall again. Connor Anton is certainly not happy right now. There is Kraft Dinner all over the cockpit of his number four Ford Mustang right there. Wines driving it into the wall every corner, but it's working for him. Lap. Oh, on the inside here, this is going to be a race back to the line. Riley, Riley Wines, Wines drives it in deep. Race back to the line. Connor Anton working the outside. Anton's in the wall. They wreck coming to the checkers. Wines is going to. No, did Anton get him? No, that was Riley Wyans. I think Riley no. Wyans got that. I'm currently showing Connor Anton as picking up the second place I'm position. I'm showing Riley Wyans actually right now. Well, I don't care. Yeah, I'm actually showing Riley Wyans as well. Never mind. Yeah. Wow. So, let's interview our winner now. Actually, we're not going to interview the winner. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. We're going to interview Connor Anton. Oh, I think he has left the session maybe. Connor Anton, Stuart Redmond, up in the booth. You got a copy. Is he gone? Uh, no, I don't think he is. I thought he's, he should pull it off the track. Now, Connor, I know that you're a little bit angry because there is certainly craft dinner all over the cockpit of your number four Ford Mustang. I want to talk to you, Connor. You can't do this to me. Okay, well, you suck. We're going to try to have a talk here with... Riley Wyans bringing it home second in quite the exciting finish. The Riley Wyans ping update here at the end of the race. 108. Riley Wyans, quite the good night for you. How'd you do it? <laughs> Asking the hard questions. Well, you know, the old absolutely anti-trusty uh, fast net wireless held together a little bit. <laughs> Fell apart a little bit towards the end of the run there while I was driving my balls off using that wall like a motherfucker. And, um, man, ah. Uh, Pulled a really ballsy ass move on Connor. Probably not the smartest thing or the cleanest thing to do, but you know, it's Bristol. Who gives a shit? It's here for <laughs> excitement, man. That was amazing. I, I just can't believe I was able to hold him off. I could have easily ended up in the wall and last. So it was uh, a lot of fun, and uh, I'm in pain. A lot of pain driving a broken car for, I don't know, a better part of 150 laps. Kind of sucks. Yeah, and, uh, Certainly very much. Thank you very much for the exciting finish. We needed that. Uh, we were actually uh, spending most of the race talking about Tyler Ducharme coasting around the inside of the track. We wasted about 20 laps talking about that. So thank you very much for giving us that exciting finish. Marcus Richardson, Stuart Redman up in the booth. You got a copy. Yeah. In the practice race, Connor Anton beat you by about three seconds uh, during that very long green flag run. This time the tables turned. You beat Connor Anton by six seconds here tonight. Where did you find the speed? I actually found it from Austin Roberts, actually. I was following him in practice, and he lifted it at a different point, and the car felt better, and it worked. Awesome stuff, awesome stuff. Congratulations on your victory, Marcus. Anyone you'd like to thank? I'd like to thank everybody at Sim Racing Authority, and uh, what's the next sponsor of this race? It's the Aaron Davis' is Awesome 150. Uh, your mic is up, Stuart. Shit. On Iron. Sorry, mic sucks. <laughs>
But Marcus, I have one quick question. Yeah. What are you going to do with all this money that you won from this race? I'm going to go to Russia because they have awesome gay laws, so I'm going there. Sounds like a good time saying hello to Vladimir Putin for me. Good win. Thank you. And we like to talk with one random person at the end of the race, and if there's anyone that is asking for it, if there's anyone that has had a rough night, it's the number 62 KFC machine of Nicholas Caressel doing drifts. I just, I was completely oblivious to Marcus's burnout. I've just been watching Nick do drifts around this track. Nick, you were two laps down at one point. Aaron was telling us, Aaron quit, but you kept going. How did you get back onto the lead lap and end up bringing it home in the seventh spot? I got really lucky on the wave around tonight. I was horrible at this track. I stuck at this track, but the wave around saved me. Honest man. Awesome stuff. Can we get one more awesome drift to end the broadcast? But well, I'll see if we can just try it here. <laughs> but Nicholas, I oh, do have one good. question. At least uh, he didn't get wrecked by no drive. No one cares Nicholas. to shot. Go. All right, Nicholas, I have one question, question to ask you. you. Sure, Aaron David. <laughs> Who is, Who is awesome? awesome? That would be Aaron David. That just is fact, fact, people. Thank, thank you very much, very Nicholas, much. and good run. Good run. <laughs> I think you guys just died. Connor, go eat some craft dinner. We don't want to hear from you now. That is going to conclude our broadcast from the Aaron Davis is awesome 150 here at Bristol Motor Speedway. Any closing words for us, Aaron? Um, no, just remember, people, whenever you're driving a race car, do not carry craft dinner. <laughs> One final look at your results, which also seems to be a little bit out of whack, much like the ticker Marcus Richardson is going to bring home the first place position. Says that Connor Anton is, is third, which he actually is, but he's listed second. So Connor Anton actually finished third. Riley Wyans finishes second. Chance Crum... You know what, screw this. We're not using this results page. It's not working. Sorry, Gary Busey made that uh, with the help of Marty Reed, and you know how they are. <laughs> All right, Marcus Richardson is going to win the race. Riley Wyans finishing second, third place, going to Connor Anton, Chance Crum in fourth. Bobby Chaney, fifth, racing for points. Trevor Pratelli finishing the in the sixth spot. Nick Caressel in seventh. Ryan Flood, eighth. Austin Roberts in ninth, Brian Wortman tenth, Tyler Ducharme forty-four laps down in the eleventh spot. David Fish having a strong run up there, finishing twelfth. Cameron Meyer, well, he was having a strong one until he died, you know. Until he uh, wrecked me on purpose. Yes. That is <laughs> Cameron Meyer finishing third. David Shutt finishing fourteenth after wrecking. Um uh, Yes. Yeah. Uh, well Cameron Meyer thirteenth, sorry. Yeah, Cameron Meyer, 13th. Yeah, the four, yeah, 14th place finishers, David Shutt. Sergio Oliveira finishing 15th. Aaron Davis finishing 16th in the Aaron Bro. Davis' is awesome 150. Derek Bro. Bordeaux finishing 17th. Jesse Kaplan bringing home the 18th place spot. Very good day for Jesse Kaplan. Alex Peck finishing 19th. And rounding out the top 20 is Stuart Redman, not even making the, his way to the track. The best driver on the track, Stuart Redman here. Almost beating Marcus Richardson, but at the end he lagged out and went 150 laps <laughs> down. That I've had the Riley Wyans ping update graphic up this entire time I've been doing interviews. That's going to conclude the broadcast. Thank you very much for tuning in. Be sure to check us out next week at Indianapolis for the, the Lauren... Lowen Cohen 50. And don't forget to watch the Sprint Series tomorrow night uh, with Rockingham, at Rockingham in the National Car. And then next week we have Indianapolis with the Lowen Cohen 50 in the Pro Series. And the Sprint Series we have the Clarence Steakhouse 100 at Martinsville Speedway. I assure you it will suck slightly less than this broadcast. Well, yes, probably. We're going to we're going to you, know you know how the Martinsville Super Speedway is. It's very fun. Bye.